Hello and welcome to Phase 1 of the Image Library. In the Image Library, City of Minneapolis employees will be able to search, upload, and download images for use. Let's take a look at search. Here, if we'd want to find an image, we simply type in the type of image that we're looking for, and our results will show up right here. Notice we get a preview of the image. We also get some detailed information regarding the image. And if we want to narrow down our results, we simply go to the left where the refiners are, select how we'd like to narrow down our results. In this instance, I'd like to see the skyline with bridges. Click Apply. And now you'll see that the results have been narrowed down. And each result contains a bridge and the City of Minneapolis skyline. To return to the Image Library site, click on Home, and we're back. Let's look at how to upload an image. Come to the Click to Upload area, and notice that our choices are Picture, Picture with Release, Signed Release, so people can upload their Tennyson agreements right here, and also Graphic Elements, with a note that says, make sure to check with Cheryl Bow to ensure that items uploaded here adhere to the City of Minneapolis standards. Let's upload an image. We click on Picture, choose Browse, select an image, click Open, and OK. Once the image is uploaded, we're presented with a list of questions so that people will be able to find our images later. The name of the image is actually the URL, which means it would be work as a direct link to the image. The title can be much more descriptive. Dave Roth Headshot, for instance. The date the picture was taken, if it's attached to the digital image, it will come through. If not, the user can simply select the date that the image was taken. Here we can select the department by either typing and allowing the system to suggest a department, or we can use the tags here, say if it's our first day at the City of Minneapolis, to narrow down our results. We'll go ahead and pick Information Technology. Enterprise keywords, put in any word that would help people find this particular image. So here I'm going to add headshot and necktie. Dave is wearing a necktie. Attribution, if it needs to be attributed to a particular photographer, you can add that here. Or we can put City of Minneapolis. Caption, if you would like for a description to appear below the photo when people download it, you can add it here. People can copy it and use that. They can also use it as alternative text, so if people are looking at the image, it will be described to them if they're using a screen reader. The notes area is for any particular notes that would help you or other people determine whether or not to use this image. Go ahead and click Submit, and you'll receive a message saying that your upload was successful. and we have that it was saved to its final location. We click OK and we go back to the landing page for the image library. How do we download an image? Well, we can go to the library that contains the image, look at all of the pictures that we have available, and then select which one we want to download. How about this one here of kids playing in the park? We choose to click on the three dots, also called an ellipse, and on the second ellipse, we choose Download a Copy. Save it, and then you can choose to open it, and you can use it in your documents. Let's go back to the home page and see how we can make suggestions to make the site better. Right here, under Help, you'll notice that there is a place to put in your suggestion for improvements. We can say in here, um, I would like more images of bridges. We are doing a project on bridges 
and would like some more images. It's a new suggestion. We could put in any notes. Click Save and notice we'll go to the list of all of the suggestions that have been made and we have ratings. This way we can crowdsource which suggestions get implemented first. We see here that Add Image Resolution currently has five stars and one person has voted for it. Our plan for the second phase for the image library is to include image resolution and also geolocation. The geolocation will allow us to map where images were taken so that people can narrow in in a particular business corridor or neighborhood and find the pictures they need for what they're doing. Also, under Help, we have Release Templates, so somebody who needs a tennis and agreement can click here and get the appropriate one. Also under Help, we have Instructions and Frequently Asked Questions. Clicking here will give users step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the site. If you have any questions, or if you would like an image library that's just to your particular department, please contact Tamara Bredemus in the IT department. Thanks so much, and have a great day.